Hello everyone, we will check out today the Harley Benton guitar bass from the Vintage series. <laughs> Base. And I got here a second tab open with the Fender Squire Modified Bass 6 and it almost looks the same but the Squire got a tremolo uh -huh. and instead of the five way switch here we got three uh, single switches for each pickup and it costs 399 euro and this guitar, guitar bass cost 198 euros so 200 euro in difference this in difference this is not a comparison i just mentioned it because i checked this instrument a little bit out more a little bit more out and i have to say it's a good they made here some good decisions no tremolo honestly who who needs a trem on this i don't know maybe there are some people and I don't want to want it to say a bad thing, but I think it's a good choice to go with the tunomatic on this here and on with the five-way switch. It's comfortable to use a five-way switch like this. And yeah. But let's start with the specs. This is really the base for a guitar player. Something like this. It's really in the middle between a guitar and a bass. It's tuned like a guitar but one octave lower. So we got here really six strings tuned like a guitar. You can play it like a guitar. Yeah, so you can play it like a guitar and it sounds something like a bass, uh, uh, very mixed in my head. I don't know, should I play it now like a bass or should I play it now like a guitar? And then I got confused that we really got the guitar uh, tuning here with the B string, you know. Um, yeah, but let's continue. We got here an American basswood body, says Thoman. And I honestly think that this is a body with veneers on it because it really looks like a one piece body there is no glue line i i really got the feeling we got here a body maybe i don't know three pieces four pieces five pieces or something and veneer on top and veneer on back because i can see here where the belly cut is something like a damaged veneer or something i will show you this in the pics hopefully and we cannot check it because everything else here is black on the sides uh, yeah here i could check i could have checked for the uh, glue lines but yeah looks nice but i really guess we got here veneer hmm bold on there canadian maple again yeah it's maple i don't know if it's canadian it's a maple neck bold on and it looks nice you can here see here a lot of grain, um, comfortable neck, I have to say, a C-shape, so nothing special, modern C-shape, something like this, feels 
uh, a lot like 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 my JA60, you know the Harley Benton JA60, the guitar that looks almost like this but with a shorter neck and P90s. Um, yeah, feels almost like this. And we got here on this guitar a Rose Acer fretboard. And let me say, let me say uh, the frets are okay. They are polished everywhere. That's nice. But the fret, fret ends are sticking out a little bit. We got here sharp fret ends. And the Rose Acer fretboard is, itself is rough. We can see it and we can feel it here. And it's dry, dry and rough. The quality is not so good of this fretboard, I have to say. Let me say that you don't feel it while playing. You feel a little bit the sharp fret ends, that's, mm, that's bad, but uh, you don't feel the, sharp, uh, the rough fretboard, okay? But yeah, that's bad, I have to say. Um, yeah, but let's continue. We got block perloid inlays, yes, and here's the craftsmanship fine. But, um, yeah, the whole fretboard should have been polished a little bit more or, you know, uh, sanded with higher grade paper, sandpaper or something. It's really just too rough, too rough. Um, but I will show you some pics and you will see it hopefully for yourself. We got here three HBZ custom wound Ornico 5 vintage voiced single coils. And I can say I get... For me here, in my opinion, in this room, I can get a good sound out of these pickups. But uh, yeah, I have to say I don't have so much experience with an, in uh, with an instrument like this. I never had, uh, for example, the Fender Squire modifi modified bass 6 or something. Uh, this is really the first uh, instrument uh, with this scale length and something. So. But I think it sounds nice. Let's hear a little bit more. Neck pick up. I continue playing I have to say the strings are nice just the lowest string is in my opinion too thin it's too floppy the only string string that feels floppy hmm. so uh, neck and middle Pickup. I always want to play it like a bass, but then I get confused that it's tuned like a guitar, uh, especially with the B string here, you know. Um, middle and bridge pickup. Okay, and the bridge pickup. And now the neck pick up with the tone pot all the way down. And the bridge pick up with the tone pot all the way down.
interesting instrument. You can really play it like a guitar, okay? We can play here our chords. Or something, uh, but you can also play it like a bass. So I have to get used to it a little bit. Nice, uh, I think it sounds nice, but we will hear a little bit more later. Um, yeah, we got a full neck binding, that's okay. Cream binding here all around the neck, but again. Rough, rough, not polished. We can see here really some scratches from the sandpaper or whatever they used. Um, yeah, not so good to be honest. Um, I'll show you this in the pics later while the playing. Controls for volume and tone, like I showed you, volume, tone for all pickups and um, volume pot for all pickups and the tone knob for all pickups. Five-way switch. Bridge pickup, bridge and middle, middle pickup, uh, middle and neck, neck pickup, and just the neck pickup. We got tunomatic bridge and a tail piece, which is not common for this guitar. Like I said, the Squire version got a tram, but I think this is a good choice. I don't want a tram on something like this, to be honest. Um, yeah, hardware looks good. I cannot say something bad about this. Even the pickguard looks good to me, better than the salami one on the JA60 or on some Harley Benton basses. Um, it's again, of course, fo photo printed, but it doesn't look bad, you know, even if you are close. It looks okay to me. It's a three ply pickguard, okay? We got black, white, and then we got this photo layer on top of it, okay? We got a graphite nut and yeah, it's rough again. I got no tuning problems, but it's a rough nut again. So really check out the photos later while the playing, okay? We got some issues here really, all around the, the neck, this area. Um, yeah, it's just the way it is, sorry. We got here Klusen style machine heads and they work. They feel a little bit hard, a little bit stiff. They feel like they are made for guitar strings and now they have to work with this thicker strings. You really have to use some force to turn them, okay? Um, but they work um, they got no play or something. If Thoman is right, we got here an 84 string and 22, 84, 72, 56, 44, 34 and 22. But yeah, the thicker string here really needs to be a, a little bit thicker. In my opinion, okay? And yeah, that's about the specs. Let me check it out here a little bit more. What do we have? We got here two string holders. Um, yeah, cannot say anything bad about it. The headstock is fully lacquered. High. The headstock is fully lacquered, high gloss. Okay, chrome neck plate, the strap buttons here, nothing special. And let me check the balance. It got a little neck dive, if I'm not wrong. It's comfortable to play like this. And comfortable to play like this. Now let me get my strap. Here it is on a strap and it's balanced. We got no neck dive or something feels really nice yeah let me turn on the vintage overdrive here for a second
like it. So, these are the specs. Um, what can I say? Let's talk about the good and the bad points. And the bad points, the fretboard. And when I say the fretboard, I mean the sharp fret ends, the rough binding, the rough fretboard, the nut is even the nut got some rough edges here. Yeah, meh, meh, meh. They have to sort this out quickly. That's really meh. Doesn't doesn't turn me on. I have to say. Um, yeah. If you know how to get rid of sharp fret ends and you know to polish the fretboard a little bit, yeah, grab yourself one now. If you don't want this, uh, wait. Wait for the next batch. Uh, they will sort this out probably in the future. We had the same stuff with the FanFret 7 and the FanFret 8. Uh, the first batch had some quality problems and now they are good. And uh, yeah, I hope this is the same here and they will sort it out. Otherwise, it's in my opinion a good sounding instrument. I like it. I like the, you know, the possibility to play it l almost like a guitar. Almost like a guitar. You can even play your chords on this. And it's interesting for recording stuff. I don't know, maybe you play your guitar lines and then you play the bass line with this directly over it everything the whole chords and everything i think it's an interesting uh, instrument for a nice price point 198 euros still okay like i said i hope they sort the fretboard out um but otherwise nice sounding guitar bass um so and i will stop the talking now i can recommend the guitar yes the instrument if you you know you know the problems here Hopefully it's just my model here right now. Maybe you order it and get yourself a really great instrument. I can see here on the Toman side there's one rating and he doesn't mention a bad fretboard at all. Okay, so it's really maybe just my instrument here right now. And so you can see they don't, you know, I don't get special guitars, they don't sort it out or something for me. I get the same instruments you got uh, most of the time and in this case probably I got even a worse instrument. Yeah, so, um, okay, enough of the talking, this was the guitar bass and we will hear it now a little bit more. I will play it now a little bit more with the Ignator Tweaker 15 and later you will hear or see it we will switch to the 11 rack with a nice bass preset, okay? Yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please share, subscribe. Uh, the links are all in the description. Come in my Tom and Hardy Benton support group, Facebook group. Um, become a Patreon. Become a patron. And I wish you a nice day. Bye bye. Turn on the vintage overdrive. <laughs> Thank you.
let's check out the little blaster. Okay, more distortion. <lacht> Thank mm -hmm. you. 